However, I said that uh, the Scala doesn't have the primitives and wrapper classes, but still it has the data types like what are the data types we are using in the normal program language, so all the data types it supports and it maintains as part of the manner execution scenario itself so and memory arrangements. Suppose we have some boolean and integer float, double, all the acceptable classes and the string is also one of the data type in the Scala. We can directly declare the string as a normal values itself. Fine. I can also if you want to declare the, this uh, even as integer also you can declare no need about the declaration fine but the as part of the scala execution manner itself it takes the data type it takes the integer values as a integer as if it takes the characters the collection of sequence of characters as a string it takes the decimal values as a float or double like this it constrains based on the value itself the uh, scala execution engine itself it takes the value the type of the data and assigns the value to the variable fine and we can also assign these values in the mode of block mode also block structure also we can maintain that we have some simple look about the block structure where you have to perform in the real time majorly suppose i want to perform the simple addition operation or something i want to perform the simple addition operations fine for this addition operation what i want to do is some basically we require two variables right a and b i want to if you, i want to perform in the block mode means i want to open the blocks as a script means and we have to declare I can also declare like this also, like this, and I am taking the values a equal to 10, b equal to 20, and I am giving the things as a plus b. Whenever we are fetching the, whenever you are getting the details as a man like this means that if the end of the things we are giving the expression right, the expression results will be automatically given to the assigns to the address value. Suppose here the address value is add. For this concern, if you execute this kind of scenario, this kind of statement in the scale, a directly will give the assigns the add. And here, what is the type of the data? Here, the type of the we are adding two integers. Obviously, we are getting integer the same thing we are getting and the value which value should be 30 like this based on the action we can also perform the actions in the bulk of something like in a batch mode something like in the with the type of blocks also fine whether we are executing the sequence of com statements we can also execute the block whenever we are performing the actions in a sequence here fine this is also one of the advantages with the scala and we have a lot of advantages with the scala with respect to the uh, storing and processing of data fine let's have the things like if you want to perform the things where they are taking the help of some control structures like if you want to take the some if you want to check, check the conditions or if you want to perform the based on the filtrations or suppose a huge amount of data and you want to filter some other kind of data means then i can also perform the this filtration or some control mechanism Suppose, however, we have the if else and the necessary for all the things we have in the Scala also it supports the if else and all the things. The major difference between, the, let us have a simple example of if else. Suppose I want to find some greatest number among two integers. How we can find, let us initialize the values. Suppose this is the Scala mode, I enter into the interactive shell. How we can assign the values? First of all, okay, I am taking A as 10 b as 20 fine and i want to find whether among a and b i want to, which is the greatest suppose here the, for this what is the what is the major technique we have to perform normally in the java kind of c programming languages we have to use the if a greater than b we have to declare a output as a b suppose if in this case if if the value if it is satisfies the value should be a suppose if it is fails we have to print the value as B. Same thing we have to use it right. However, we perform in the ternary operating or ternary mode in the Java programming language or C programming language. Here itself we have to maintain things as like this. If A greater than B will satisfy, we have to print the value as A. Or else we have to use the else keyword here. Else we have to print the B value. Fine, like this we can use the simply execute. Now if if we take the values as 10 and 20 means obviously we are getting the output as something result 10 the result is b fine the value is b suppose if you want to print the value value of the these things these variables and all the things means we can we have to use the print ln we can use the print ln also how we can represent this print ln suppose i want to print these both the values a and b 
fine how we can print it simply we have to use print ln a as the normal variables you can also type the a and enter you can enter you can get the values but if you want to keep the some of the texts suppose hello world like kind of things if you want to display in the console means we have to use the print ln print or print ln both the things will works in the scala also both things also work like print and print means you use the sequence of commands in a sequential manner the print ln means whenever you are requiring after the executing the statement it goes the cursor and moves to the next line like this i can achieve the major i can perform major operations however we are working with the related programming languages fine scala is also a very easy programming language with respect to the other languages like however but things is we have to get the differentiations and we have to get the flow movements fine here however we are working with the if you compare with the same if and else or some if you consider the if and else means suppose here i am giving the some if and else right let's have seen things suppose i am giving one of the statement like this i am considering a value as some minus 5 fine and i am checking whether a is a positive or negative for this example i am taking the value as if a greater than 0 obviously we have to print as positive suppose if it is case is as we have, we are suppose a greater than 0 we will fail fails and we have to give the else condition suppose i am giving that else negative in this case fine at least what is the output here at least we are getting a positive or negative sometimes if you didn't give the else cases we can, can we use only if cases or cases means we cannot maintain the scala scala at least scala if and else at least will gives the result as one integer or something like one resultant value as the resultant value we have to keep either one of the positive or negative either we have to give the true condition or false condition both the things we have to give it up suppose we can also assign these things to the variables this if and else blocks will always returns of returns values for this purpose itself always i am storing into a one variable or value now the value will be now this scala execution scala executes this statement and stores the result one as negative however we have given the here itself same thing it will happens fine negative like this whatever happens here in the manner of the scala if and else all the normal condition statements we can also perform the same things and we have other than this condition statements what are the things are there if you want to look up it means seriously yes we have to if you want to perform the if you want to perform the action as a repetition what we have to take it out in other programming languages we have to take the consideration of loops let's let's look up what a how the loops will be works in the scala now i am executing i am giving the control statements like how we can control the data flow or something like execution flow suppose here if you want to consider the as a looping statements however we have other than program language what are the looping statements we have we have while do while and for but all the all the looping statements will also accepts in the scala but we have some of the changes with respect to the terminal suppose let's have a simple look up about by taking the example of while if you want to take about the while now fine how you can get it out suppose i want to print 1 to 5 integers how you can give it out i want to take, consider the value as suppose here the syntax will be like this we have to give the condition right yes suppose i am giving x less than 5 initially i am taking next value as 1 fine whether this condition will be true when whenever this condition will be false the loop will be repeated and here the loop will be repeated five times if you want to print it means print ln x fine now we have to give also gives the increment or something like we have to perform some of the action here we have to perform the increment in the normal program language what we have to use it x plus plus and if you give it x plus plus and if you execute means it will works in other program languages 
but if whenever you are comparing whenever you are executing these statements in the scala the scala doesn't suppose this increment and decrement operators we cannot use x plus plus kind of things what we have to use it as a static statements x equal to x plus 1 like this we have to get it or else we can also use the things like x equal to x plus equal to 1 both the statements are will works will treat it as the same thing and with it, it takes the things as a incremented by one value fine i hope you understand what how we can execute the things in a by, by using while loop same thing doesn't change with the do while also we have to take the do and x equal to x plus 1 print ln x and we have to write while block x greater than 5 and we have to initialize the x as a 1 or something if you want from the output as a some 0 you have to take the x value as 0 then 0 to 5 the values will be repeated and I am getting the resultant values however you are compared with the while and do while also in the scala also we are getting the same differentiations at least in the do while we have at least one iteration but in the in while loop the minimum iterations will be 0 fine while means why means in the while block the data must be checks the going through with the condition as the basic step on but in the do while it will be happens in the last for this purpose itself i am getting as a minimum executions in the do while is minimum one with respect to the while as zero fine i hope you understand with the while and do while in the scala and on top of this we also work with the for most of the people are using work we are using fire as the prominent usage and we are giving the values as independent suppose if you consider for loop how you can execute the things in other programming languages we have to initialize the block and condition or increment increment like this kind of things we have to include it right but those many statements we are not including in the for syntax in the especially scala suppose if you want to repeat the block as from 1 to n fine how we can do it means i want to repeat i want to take this x value as 1 to 5 we have to write like this what it indicates means this loop will be repeated with the x values starts from 1 up to 5 suppose if you execute these statements and i am taking x equal to x plus 1 fine if you consider the same thing what is the output here i am taking let us take the value as print only fine i am getting the output as 1 2 3 4 5 up to i am giving this value as 5 like this i can declare and i can get work with the for loop fine suppose on top of this giving the conditions we have different kind of mode if you go in detail I can also use for x value starts from 1 until 5. I can also specify 2 or until. The major difference between 2 or until, let us have a simple look. Let us have a check it. Let us check with the output. You can also easily say with respect by comparing with the outputs you can get a conclusion like if you give the 2 if you use the 2 if it takes the values and it repeats the loops based on the end value also it considers the end value also for this manner itself i am getting 1 2 3 4 5 5 iterations will be happens and 5 values will be printed but here what i am doing is i am giving the value as until 1 until 5 means before the end value itself the, it will the terminates the loop and i am getting the things as a 1 2 3 4 only the major differences between 1 to n is here if i use the 2 the minimum requirement minimum iterations will be n only if you take the until if the end value is n then the until iterations is n minus 1 that is what the major differences between 2 and until with respect to the for loop we do not have the initialization uh, something like increment decrement condition and all the things this is what the things we have to make use of in the for loop itself 
right if you want to keep the conditions also you can keep the conditions based on the things whenever we have the requirement on the nature fine this is what the utilization of the for loop and we have the, in some cases we have to also use the for each also we have right in other programming languages however we are using the for each also we can also use the for each in the scala also let's like let's have a simple look up about for each as the for each is also we have to execute to perform the things in a manner like suppose suppose i am considering the value of a suppose i am in a scala mode fine i am taking the x as a some string suppose i am taking this string as scala only fine now x holds the scala as a string and i want to perform in a for each for the each i want to take this i want to take this uh, as a scala in a as a character by character how you can add it we have to take the things x dot for each and i want to print the value that's all after execute this statement what is the output will be happens means i hope you guys can understand this suppose what the for each will take is means for each character in the existing string it will take it out and it will print it console output fine here i am doing the five characters for this purpose itself i am giving the five intervals for each character itself i am maintaining the one additional loop and i am going to a printl here i am using println for this kind of things i am getting scala like this console if i use only print means i am getting the output as scala only means for for your get based on the things itself we have to check with that whether i am using println and print to get the concurrent output fine i want to know whether the scala is really perform this kind of action itself for this purpose i am using the print ln no need to mention about the remaining things also fine you can directly use the values the it will divides the for each into a number of iterations fine i can also use these conditions for the alphabet some characters also suppose if we use the things like this no need to for the one in numerical values if i use a to d fine suppose i am using the value as a to d and i am performing the things in a until manner fine how many iterations will be happens here the output will be a b c can i get the d no we are using until suppose in the same case i am using 2 then the output should be a b c d fine take the simple simple differences then you can get the you can easily crack the scala programming you cannot get the differences you cannot get the thing by about the scala scala is also very easy programming with respect to the other programming languages we don't have, we are not having the lengthy lengthy apis to get connected with that and we can also get the simple iteration still we are in the basis of scala programming itself how you have to work with the simple looping statements fine i hope you understand what how we are working with the looping statements and control structures on top of the cases we can also perform with the same thing we can also perform with the switch case like kind of concept also we can execute and let's have a simple look about how the things will be happens